I've been asked many times why I sing. Because it's the why that defines us. It's how we carry on. It's how we tell the world. Music paints life's pictures and is a window into the soul. It grows us. It's medicine to the wounded. It proclaims who we are and states who our God is. It can build us up and give us rest. A song is an overflow of the heart. It's showing you have thankfulness and wisdom of what Jesus has done for us. I'm Heather Smith, and this is Why I Sing. And today I walked into the house from fighting 102 to 110 degree weather for the last week out here in West Texas. And the first thing I said when I walked in was, thank you God for air conditioning. <laughs> so I thought, hey, what a better song to do today than thank God all the time. <laughs> the backstory behind this song is quite fun. This is a song I put on my first album, A Brand New Start. This is a song that I wrote. And... Um, it came after a rough afternoon, rough morning with my family and my children. I am a mother of two. My, I have two daughters right now. One uh, is close to hitting the double digits, and the other one just turned a teenager. So, yes, lots of estrogen in our household. <laughs> I had to buy my, dog, my husband a male dog so that he could have some relief. <laughs> but... Um, I had had a particularly bad morning about three and a half years ago, and um, I had been to Walmart with my youngest and maybe both of my children. I, I can't remember now. I just remember my youngest for sure uh, was fighting and screaming and wanting everything in Walmart and throwing an absolute fit and had been just all over the place. I had people walking by me in Walmart like, can't you keep your own kid under control? And wow, you know, motherhood sure working for you, isn't it? <laughs> All the fun things people love to tell you as a parent when your kid is throwing a fit in the cereal aisle in Walmart. Uh, so I, I was quite frustrated um, before I even got out to the checkout line, my husband had called me two or three times like, aren't you done yet? Aren't you home yet? Like, what are you going to do about eating? What, you know, what are you doing? Are you just taking your time? And I'm like, I'm at Walmart with a child that wants everything. And it was just, it was one of them mornings, y'all. <laughs> if you've never had a Walmart trip like this, you have not begun to live. <laughs> So I get home and the first thing, everybody has that moment in life when you have a carload of groceries and you show up and you put them on the counter and somebody walks in and goes, there's nothing to eat in this house. <laughs> ah! I am just beside myself. And the whole time I am, my attitude is going downhill quickly. I'm like, why am I having to do with these kids? I've told these kids to quit throwing a fit 5,000 times and they just don't listen to me. And I got my husband down my throat and I'm dealing with all these people looking at me like I'm crazy trying to get out of Walmart. And I'm like, just get in the car as I'm loading the groceries as she's still crying about something she didn't get. <laughs> Come home and it's one thing after another, like, why didn't you have this done yet? Why haven't you got this done yet? Oh, well, I'm too busy being a mom. Like, what do you expect from me? <laughs> and I finally, I think I got the last piece of cold food in the fridge and slammed the fridge shut. And I'm like, I'm going to my room and don't anybody open the door. <laughs> I go into my room. I close the door, lock it, probably bar it with a chair, maybe push a trunk in front of it. I don't know, something to keep everybody out of my space. Every mom knows that point when you're like, I just want to hide in the bathroom and I still get the feeling.
fingers under the door like, what are you doing, Mom? <laughs> so I'm just, I'm frustrated, and my attitude is bad, and I'm complaining and angry and upset over everything, and I go up to my, my prayer desk, and on my prayer desk, it's got three or four different versions of the Bible, and, and um, versions, I should say, different translations of the Bible, there's only one version, yeah, see, that's what kind of day I was having, and um, I got my computer where I research stuff, and I do some, some of my work on it, and I've, I've got a pile of songs I've been researching, and music stuff I'm researching and guitar tabs and chords and music theory things. And, and I sit down at my desk and I'm just like, God, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe you. But uh, when is this Christian walk supposed to get easier? Because I've been doing all these things. I've been tithing. And I've been going to church and I've been reading Bible studies and I've been reading my Bible and I've been trying to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir, and God bless you, and oh, bless your heart, <laughs> everything I can think to do. And it's still hard. It's still hard. I'm still having bad days. I still can't get through Walmart <laughs> without something going on. And as I poured it out to God in my complaining and and just my bad attitude, God answered me in the most loving and patient and kind way. And you know, looking back, I'm like, he could have just bent me over his knee and give me what for and spank my butt. And I would have deserved it. I would absolutely deserved it. But he gave me something I didn't deserve. He gave me grace. <laughs> he gave me mercy. And it broke me all it just broke me and as I'm sitting there like why can't I why can't I? this God just so lovingly came to me and said oh Heather you have a vehicle good running vehicle full of gas you can drive the miles into town at your convenience and the air conditioning and you can go to a store that is covered with food on the shelves and things to buy and things you don't even need, things you just want, things that look pretty and make you happy. And as you're going through the store with all these wonderful things and all this money to buy all these wonderful things, I give you two children, two children where thousands of women have begged to me, cried to me in their prayers, God, please just give me one child. Please, God, give me one child, and I've given you two. And about the time I'm like, oh, wow, I, I just messed up big. <laughs> I came to God in my prayer time with a bad attitude and with that heart of thanksgiving he didn't just stop there, y'all. He kept going. He said, and I give you a husband. I gave you a husband who loves you, who provides for you, who doesn't drink and beat you. I gave you a husband who, who helps you raise these children. How many women have begged for a husband, begged me for their husbands to stop beating them, begged me to have a man there to help them raise their children, begged me for a man that would love them. And I gave it to you. And y'all, yeah, I was like, I was gone. I was broke. You have my full and undivided attention, God. My attitude will change now. <laughs> and he, he continued. He, I, I gave you a home. I gave you a fridge. I, you have these this food in your fridge. You have electricity. You have air conditioning. <laughs> when it's 110 degrees. No, he said that today. Um. He, he, I gave you a house. I gave you all these things. Why are you complaining? <laughs> what else can you say when God straightens you out and he does it in the most loving and merciful and grateful manner? Then, you know what, God? You're right. I'm sorry. I will change my attitude. And from now on, I will thank God all the time. And that's where it came from.
Sometimes I give up trying to be the woman I should be. Sometimes I'm not a good wife or a friend to those in need. Sometimes I just don't know. Should I come or should I go? I'm just a grain of sand blowing to and fro. Through the storms of life in this ugly world. Thank God for Calvary, where you saved a mess like me. Thank God you took a stand for my sins upon that tree. You gave your perfect life and your blood. Save a soul like mine from hell's blood. So I thank God all the time. Whoa, whoa. I thank God all the time. Whoa, whoa. Some. Times I just can't tell my left from my right. Sometimes I just don't know if it's really worth the fight. Sometimes my kids argue and it drives me through the room. This crazy life I live can't be sane. But I'm thankful you love me all the same. So thank God for Calvary, where you saved a mess like me. Thank God you took a stand for my sins upon that tree. You gave your perfect life and your blood. Save a soul like mine from hell's blood. Thank God for Calvary, where you saved a mess like me. Thank God you took a stand for my sins upon that tree. You gave your perfect life and your blood. Save a soul like mine from hell's blood. I thank God all the time. Whoa, whoa. I thank God all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember to say a prayer tonight and thank God for all the things you have and let those things that block you and that you don't have and that give you a bad attitude, just let them go and just be thankful for what you do have. Y'all have a blessed week. You're the Father, Savior, Redeemer, oh sing a believer. I worship you who has made this heart